Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In front of us we have um, an unopened bag from Dolce & Gabbana which I'm just going to slip the top and show you the items which I purchased uh, a couple of days ago from the Dolce & Gabbana makeup collection. Uh, got quite a few freebies. Um, there was a particular item that I knew I wanted to look at, well two, from the Christmas collection, um, which is very pretty. I'd seen advertised. I should say Dolce & Gabbana is quite difficult to get hold of in London at the moment, or at least I found it so. Um, if you don't want to order on the website um, and you want to look at the products in person, you used to be able to go to Selfridges, but they don't have a Dolce now, so you have to go to Harrods. So I made a special trip to Harrods to have a look at this highlighter and there's also a bronzer so you can see it comes in the usual kind of felt pouch the brush for it it's rather cute um, that's on the outside which is a bit different from some of the other brands and then it's a tight little pouch I'm being quite careful because I think I may be giving this as a present so here we go um, gold and I think this is specific to the Christmas collection, a red top. They have different coloured tops. Um, I've always been attracted to their animal print ones but they've never had products inside that I really really wanted. And this one is a highlighter powder and as you can see um, the most gorgeous imprint of a Roman coin in the powder which I was very taken with. Now they do do a bronzer as well um, and I was up for buying the bronzer for myself but when I tested it um, I found that it was very very warm toned and on my skin it looked too um, almost reddish. Uh, I guess you know Dolce is a brand, it's an Italian brand, it's probably made with darker Mediterranean skinned women in mind more than um, you know northern Europeans so I prefer a cool toned almost muddy um, bronzing powder it just didn't look right on me although in the pan it had the the coin like this only much more obvious because um, it was in the darker powder I mean I don't know how clearly you're seeing that coin that's probably a better shot um, and uh, oh, just gorgeous to look at but I really couldn't justify spending all that money on an item that I wouldn't be able to use now I'm not going to swatch this for you because I'm actually going to give this as a present for my mum who uh, doesn't wear a lot of makeup but she does like highlighters and powders so I think this will be a beautiful Christmas present for her um, I can tell you I did swatch it obviously in store it's quite faint um it doesn't have a shimmer so much as a subtle glitter. Um, so if you're not into glitter, yeah, I'd say it's quite party-ish. Uh, it's not really full in your face glitter, but not as much heavy sheen as, for example, the Kevin O'Quinn or the Guerlain um, uh, Cruel um, Gardenia, which is one of the heavily sheened ones, or even actually this year's Chanel um, Christmas Highlighter. I'd say that was um, a more powerful shimmer than, than this. This was more a glitter. But I do think these are beautiful um, presents to give. So that is what will be happening to that. Now, they also had two lipsticks, a bright um, red and a nude. The nude, again, wasn't the correct skin tone colour for me. They also had two cream eyeshadows that, I was in the market for but the Christmas ones not so much there was um, a pale yellowy gold uh, very pretty um, again in the pot with the red top um, but I've got several golds I've got Tom Ford and I've got Chanel I didn't need another light gold the other was more tempting it was a bronze beautiful beautiful um, very strong so very much a party shade uh, and too similar again to Spice, although it was much more metallic than Tom Ford's Spice. Um, and I've got, you know, 
again I've got Chanel ones that were similar so just wasn't for me but I did go to their permanent collection and they have quite an extensive range of cream eyeshadows so if you like cream eyeshadows you know I've never tried theirs before and I haven't tried these yet so I'm just showing you what I've got and I guess I'll be reporting back hopefully when I've used them um, I looked at several and tried to pick out shades that were different to what I've already got. Um, sadly, these pots don't have the little red top, but they are still very pretty, very substantial in the hand. Now, this one is called Number 8 Elegance. Unusual for a you know, French name for an Italian and it's a sort of dove grey. Um, it's quite matte, very creamy, very pigmented. And it seems to dry down on my hand to a more powdery, less creamy finish than the Tom Ford creams. Um, it feels kind of drier in the pot. Um, none of the kind of shimmer and the cushioned bounce of the Chanel Illusion Dom. So different from those but I shall be interested to see how that wears on my eyelids definitely a colour very different to anything I've got and quite wearable I thought um, they had a beautiful beautiful plum that I was quite uh, attracted to I mean they had about 12 different shades I have to say um, and then this one was kind of pushed on me by pushed sounds wrong she was a really nice sales associate um <clears throat> This one is called Gold Dust, actually, but it's not really that gold. Um, a kind of more flesh-toned colour that I ummed and ahed about. I don't know if you can even see it. It's quite subtle, um, but not glittery gold. Just, you know, kind of making your eyelid look itself, but a bit better, or even on the brow bone. Um, that one actually feels a bit softer than the Elegance. Um, so I wasn't quite sure about that, but I thought, well, give it a go. Um, so those were the two that I got. It's a really nice selection, but I, you know, was tempted with others, but want to see how they work out before I invest. Let me tell you how much they cost. They're £25. So they're a bit cheaper than um, Tom Ford, which I think is about £29 now. Um, round the same price as Chanel Illusion Dombre. I mean, they know their market. And I should say that the highlighter was £42. So quite a pricey little gift, but um, very beautifully um, presented. I was served um, by Miss Khan, who was extremely helpful. If you're at Harrods Dolce counter, um, I think she will be able to show you lots of different things and very helpfully gave me a few samples of the Dolce Foundation uh, Natural Glow that's called yeah both of those which I'm hoping she had some difficulty finding ones that weren't going to be too dark she gave me some other samples as well um, beautiful box look um, the bag's lined in gold which make it a nice present uh, what else did I get uh, two more foundations I think these are the uh, cream foundations which would be better for my skin um, both in creamy um, I'm looking forward to trying these because I'm nearing finishing quite a few of my foundations so I have several on the go at once and I do find as my skin changes you know, I need to change my foundation. Oh, that's going to be a bit dark for me, I suspect. But, um, yeah, very warm toned. I mean, this seems to be a problem with their colour range. They are, that's a bit going on a bit yellow, actually. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how that works. Might be able to work with it, but be able to test out the consistency. And I think these are skin products. Yeah, I've got an eye gel. Lord knows I need that. Yeah, two eye gels. So be interested to try out those products. Um, and yeah, that's Dolce & Gabbana. Uh, they have some lovely nail varnishes, I must say. Um, Stromboli, which is a glittery black 
I bought years ago, still going strong, and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful party polish. They had lots of nice polishes, but honestly, I, you know, with my Chanel polish addiction and Tom Ford, I can do without getting into another range, so I desisted. So that was Dolce & Gabbana. Let me know if um, you've tried any of their products and like them or dislike them, and I'll let you know how those eye creams work out when I've had a chance to test them. Bye for now.